after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Our. When you say our image, that means there is more than one person talking or there is more than one person involved. It's the three involved. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's called the Holy Trinity. So the one who created the heavens and the earth is God, but is God the three in one. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And all these three in the Trinity, they've got the divine function in the earth. Each one has got their own dispensation in which they have assigned themselves to work. It's like what you call the division of labor here on earth. And so God created man in his image and after his likeness. And he called him man. Look at that. So God created man in his own image. And in the image of God created he him, male and female, created he them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over everything that liveth, that moveth upon the earth. Now God is giving responsibility to human beings first to multiply. Why? Because God's desire is that this whole earth is filled with his glory. This whole earth is filled with his creation. He says go and multiply and replenish and fill this earth. So when God made man, he made him with a responsibility. And he said, you shall have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air. The most outstanding and excellent thing that God ever did was to create man. Because we are made in God's image. We are not like animals, like birds. We have the mind of Christ. We have made in the image of God. And that image of God is spirit, for God is spirit. And the Bible says, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So, beloved one, wherever you are, you must know one thing. You are created in God's image. And God wants to restore you back to your position of responsibility and of the things that you can do to build up God's kingdom. It was, it's not by accident that you are watching this particular broadcast. It's not by accident that you were born again, if you are born again. It's not by accident that you came to be with us at this hour. It's for a divine purpose that you come to know God. So the creation which was spoken by God, in a sense it was a recreation. These things were there, but they were obscured by the judgment and God was bringing them back to normal. But the greatest thing we need to know also is that God has assigned particular responsibilities for his children to do while they are alive. And so we must find out that secret. We must find out what God wants us to do and move on with Jesus. Well, beloved one, this is Bishop Dr. Lawrence Mwamba signing off from Dallas, Texas, the United States of America, telling you God loves you and we do too. And I say, please look to the forthcoming broadcast because I'm going to be on air. I'll be broadcasting on YouTube. Just search for my teachings and you're never going to be the same. You're going to be a blessed person. God bless you and bye-bye.